All right, I'm making this video in response to uh, the video I made yesterday um, regarding Donald Trump claiming that global warming is a hoax. So I had a couple trolls make comments um, regarding that uh, it was obvious that um, the TV that was in the background of the video um, wasn't reporting on uh, what I had said the headline was that it was on a, it had made it to a news segment by then and that uh, how do the people know whether or not I'm telling the truth because I'm just repeating it and with some other nasty things and you know I just decided that uh, well for one yesterday was the second video that I've ever posted on here so it wasn't my first thought to, gra to grab my camera and to record it as it was being broadcast on the television so I basically, um, you know, just realized how momentous the news was and decided to upload a video from directly from my phone. So um, this is basically uh, something that I went and gathered up the sources for that um, information to verify. And um, I'm going to start with right here. I googled Trump global warming hoax. And there's multiple search queries to return. But, um, you know, like this one. Yes, Donald Trump did call climate change a Chinese hoax. And this one, him on Twitter, the concept of global warming. And, you know, just one thing after another. There's always the, the truth. And then there's always the, the people that go on and try to, to uh, discredit everything and uh, the, the, the trolls that we all know them as so here's one particular article um, this is here's proof Trump thinks climate change is a hoax he tweeted the exact thing he denied saying it so allegedly I guess there's a, um, a confrontation whether he said it and then denied it and um, said it again so, okay. well, this is his official Twitter, and uh, says Donald J. Trump, as you can see, the real Donald Trump, this is verified, uh, let's see, give me clean, beautiful, and healthy air, not the same old climate change, global warming bullshit, I am tired of hearing this nonsense, that's January 2014. Snowing in Texas and Louisiana, record-setting freezing temperatures throughout the country and beyond. Global warming is an expensive hoax. That was tweeted also the 29th of January 2014. NBC just called it the Great Freeze. Coldest weather in years as our country still spending money on the global warming hoax in capital letters. Now... The source that I heard it on was NHC, World News. So, let's see if I can have it up here earlier. Okay, well, regardless, NHC, World News, um, if you really doubt what I had said, NHC. Washington. For a look at how sharply policy in Washington will change in the administration of Donald Trump, look no further than the environment. Mr. Trump is called called human caused climate change a hoax. He has vowed to dismantle the Environmental Protection Agency in almost every form. And in an early salvo against one of the President Obama's signature issues, Mr. Trump has named Myron Ebel of the Business Back Competitive Enterprise Institute to head his EPA transition team. Mr. Ebel 
has asserted that whatever warming caused by greenhouse gas pollution is modest and could be beneficial. The 2007 Vanity Fair profile of Mr. Ebel called him an oil industry mouthpiece. Global warming may indeed be the sharp example of how policy in Washington will change. You know, I'm just if you're interested in the link, it's um this is the New York Times. So a lot of the stuff that comes out of there is bullshit because of who owns it. But um that's you can be assured that's when the New York Times says something like that. I mean it most likely came from Trump. So uh, evaluating what that means is um you know, so obviously if Trump's saying that global warming is a hoax, there's a reason for it. So let's let's investigate this reason. There's another uh, article I found on Express News. Does Clinton believe in Nibiru? Doom Planet proof in emails released by WikiLeaks. Hillary Clinton was sent an email which claims to contain evidence of a mythical Doom Planet Nibiru exists. Is this the real reason for climate change, and is it a, on a collision course with Earth? This was published Tuesday, October 18th. It's updated the 18th. So, among thousands of emails released by WikiLeaks, which originated from the Gmail account of Hillary Clinton's campaign manager, John Podesta, was one referring to the legendary globe, also known as Planet X. Conspiracists and UFO seekers have been claiming for years a mysterious huge celestial body called Planet X or Nibiru was hidden away in our solar system on such an orbit that it passes close to Earth every few thousand years. And the size of the planet and its gravitational pull is so big that it causes havoc on Earth by triggering earthquakes and volcanoes as it passes, the claim states. The theory was bolstered in January when NASA announced the discovery of a planet 9 hidden in our solar system that is about 10 times bigger than the Earth. The conspiracy theory goes that all major world leaders know about the threat of Nibiru but are keeping the news secret from the masses due to fear they would lose control over the populations if we knew what was coming. Uh, hey, there's my buddy there. The email has left alien conspiracy theorists speculating Nibiru must be real. Scott C. Waring, editor of UFOSightingsDaily.com, posted, Here is an interesting email sent to Podesta, then forwarded from him to Hillary Clinton that speaks of Nibiru and the proof that it exists. If this information was nonsense, then why would it be in Hillary's email? Therefore, there must be some truth to it all. Just a few months ago, NASA admitted to a possible ninth mysterious planet out there in our orbit. It has been seen on NASA's charts, and NASA said they found evidence that Planet X does exist, and it's just a matter of time before they find it. Okay. So it looks like the Podesta is pushing Hillary towards disclosure. It's not all bullshit talk to get votes. The email from a man named Don Smalter claimed Nibiru was hidden by the sun's glare, but that there was a global government covering, covering up the way to prevent knowing the truth. Nibiru is four times larger in diameter than Earth and magnetically more than 20 times stronger, the email claims. It added, it is on a long elliptical path now slowly passing between the sun and the Earth, and does so every 3,600 plus years. Nibiru has been subject to a governmental cover-up. It is currently hidden behind the sun's glare, but distant photo images have been provided on the websites and on the internet. Nibiru's magnetic strength apparently is already stirring the Earth environment and appears to be causing some of the climate change and global warming effects, questionably blamed on atmospheric CO2, otherwise known as global warming, and climate change. Details the emails have merged in stories in several conspiracy theory websites. Okay, so that's one of the articles. Um, we have also, there's multiple, there's multiple sites. You know, Planet X, WikiLeaks reveals Hitley, Hit, Hitlery, <laughs> Hitlery Clinton campaign email discussing Nibiru. And here's just another one. Um, you know, but why not go straight to the source? Here we go. Tell Hillary she is wrong on climate change. See below. Now, this is... Here is the link right here for... Um, oops. 
There's the link. If we're going to do that, want to go look at it. Um, it is 447. I believe that's the email. Email ID is 447 in the Podesta emails. So when you go to WikiLeaks, it's email ID 447 in the uh, search bar that they have. Now there's numerous other things in these emails and um, there's numerous other things in these files. But returning to the basis of this video, Trump claiming that climate change is a hoax, I hope this sheds some new light on the reason um, for the video that I uploaded last night and uh, basically connecting the dots because, like I said, it is apparent to me that Trump has inside information. The man is now our president. He's one of the wealthiest people in the world. He's been fighting the Illuminati, Bilderberg, Trilateral Commission, Dark Cabal, you know, whatever, whatever, whatever you want to call it. He's been fighting them from day one. He's never had a drug or drink. He's very clear-minded and clear-headed. And, uh, you know, I, I believe he was definitely the right choice as president. There's a reason the establishment hates this man, and it's because he hasn't conformed with their globalist elite plans to depopulate the planet and watch us all, you know, perish in the face of this cycle that takes place every few thousand years. So, you know, the first night of uh, Trump being elected president, to hear that was 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 a, was a confirmation, you know, and uh, I don't, I'm not trying to, I'm not here to convince anybody or or to uh, you know try to, to push my beliefs onto you. Um, use your own intuition and ask your own spirit guides um, for for the truth. And um, you know if 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 you uh, you know if, if you ask for these answers and you look within, you know you always have a gut feeling uh, whether something is right or not, whether something rings true, uh, whether it resonates true. And uh, instantly upon hearing this on the world news last night, I had that resonation and I had that feeling. And uh, I felt, you know, that it was my duty to basically inform people of uh, this piece of the puzzle. I mean, we're all searching for the truth. And we're all trying to help each other understand what it is that's taking place in the world right now that we're being lied to about. And at the end of the day, I have children. I'm sure many of you have children. And this is what it comes down to. And, uh, you know, they were willing to do anything they could to keep Trump out and get Hillary in there. They paid $62 million the other day for Jay-Z and Beyonce in, in Illinois or wherever it was that she had that show. And it's a well-known fact. Jay-Z has it in his songs about Obama's on speed dial. You know, they're buddies. And, uh, obviously Obama was endorsing Hillary. So, you know, Obama made a call to his boy Hove, to his boy Jay-Z, and, uh, you know, basically middlemanned the, uh, the Jay-Z Beyonce concert that she paid $62 million for. $62 million she paid for that show. Now, I'm an artist, and, uh, you know, I can tell you that $62 million for a, a last-ditch effort to try to sway the black people, you know, they say that that Trump is is racist, and um, you know, they dug for every bit of information that they could on him, every bit of dirt, and they came up with an old video that where where they where they edited the things that he said to sound like he was saying, yeah, just grab him by the cooter, and you know, all these crazy things, when he was basically you know led into that conversation, as his wife states. And regardless, at least he's not talking about grabbing, you know, a man's piece. Because the way that this liberal government is pushing us now is, 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 is corrupt of morals and values. And, um, you know, they're pushing the, the Illuminati agenda along to basically to, uh, to, to try to change our identities and, um, you know, basically brainwash us. And, um, you know, that and him cheating, oh, and his six bankruptcies. Yeah, his six bankruptcies were within the confines of the law. He navigated the system and screwed the bankers that have stolen all of our money out of their money. And, you know, basically, 
uh, you know, circumvented the same system that's been screwing us all these years and found a way around it and took advantage of them for once. And of course they're pissed off about that. So, uh, you know, Trump's a smart man. And uh, not to mention, you know, that the entire establishment hates him for a reason. And it's because he's not in cahoots with their plan. And Trump can't be controlled because Trump is, you know, he may be cocky, he may be this, he may be that, but I believe it's because he's confident. And he knows exactly what's going on. And he intends on doing everything he can to change it. And, you know, that's why his, his famous speech during the election was, just watch what I do. Because as we all know what happened to JFK when he openly declared in his inaugural speech to do away with, you know, the secret societies and the dark cabal that was corroding the backbone of our nation. And, you know, we all know what happened in that scenario. So, you know, we need to send our prayers towards our new president-elect support him and stop buying into the propaganda the man isn't racist all his companies are owned by hispanics and blacks i have melan you know i'm half melanated myself i mean it's 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 quite apparent that they're trying to steer all of obama's voters to hillary when hillary was mentored by senator Byrd, the leader of the kkk and who revered people like Margaret Sanger, you know, Nazi, Nazi, you know, uh, Planned Parenthood founder, and, uh, you know, who was quoted for saying, you know, that the, the reason that they set up all their, their uh, establishments in the inner cities was directly to, you know, combat the problem of colored people having lots of babies. So if that isn't racist, I don't know what is. And that's, you know, that's the Clinton campaign. None of that shit came from Trump. And, uh, you know, a lot of people have a lot of, um, you know, misinformed information. And um, I'm going to enable the comments section below here because, you know, I, I, I guess I'm just not used to the trolls. This is, like I said, this is my third video now. And I wasn't, I, I just wasn't prepared, I guess, for the, uh, for the trolls that I, 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 I now see is, uh, I guess, a common thing on YouTube when you're posting videos and trying to get the truth out. So I guess from here on out, I'm just going to ignore the trolls and, um, you know, the people that have actually things of substance to say. Um, post your comments below. I'd like to hear your feedback. Um, I, I do reply. And, um, you know, we're all just in this big mess together trying to find the truth. And, um, you know, love and compassion humility, you know, positive, positive vibrations, these things go a long way, and, uh, you know, all, all the toxic energy does is create an environment of just that, and it promotes, you know, fear and emotions, and, and, and that being a base emotion, all the emotions that come with it, which is negative, you know, so I do believe Trump is for the light, um, you know, like I said, make your own ultimate decisions use your own intuition um, I do have two other videos as I stated the first one um, you know, I'm just going to say the, the first one is a little background um, a few years back I started receiving real strong visions premonitions things of that nature and I realized that I had some psychic ability and I've been developing it for the last few years and I was told you know more or less that I wasn't that I was, you know, my spirit guides tell me to keep what I know to me, but, you know, some, some things aren't for everyone, and, uh, you know, I just, I've been, I've been struggling with, you know, this for the last couple of years, wanting to post videos on, you know, some of the things, some of the, uh, basically the lessons that I've been shown, and uh, I finally made a choice to do it. So this channel is going to start dedicating, um, you know, the videos to the truth. And as I come across information and as I'm shown information, because I do have, you know, different sources than some people, um, I will post it. And, um, you know, I hope that this can be, you know, a channel that people can come together, bounce ideas and uh, information off of each other. And, um... You know, in the end, it's all for the common good and for the people. 
and you know the information um, basically is is there to help us to prepare for what is coming because whether you're you're just scared and you don't want to accept the reality of what's coming or um, you know whatever the reason may be you know um, we just need to continue to basically you know have love and um, temperance for each other and uh, I'd appreciate the the negative comments kept to a minimum if you disagree with what I say I have no issue with you telling me you know what your disagreement is or correcting me by all means if some of my information is wrong like I said I will try to well before I before I move forward posting anything I will you know do the best job that I can to make sure that it's 100% true before I post it moving forward but hit the subscribe button the like button and uh, stay tuned I do have uh, another video I will be posting shortly and um, you know like I said I, I, I hope that uh, you know moving forward this can be become a place to uh, to learn and to come together there's a couple other good channels on YouTube that I respect and you know I, I actually you know keep up to date with and I've talked to a few of those guys and um, you know there's 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 a couple people that that can be relied on for good solid information and there's you know a lot that cannot be so like I said use your own uh, intuition and discerning the truth from you know from the lies and uh, like I said hit that like and subscribe button